<sighs> Olivia, my love, my best friend. I've been dreaming of a moment like this for a very long time. I just never in my wildest dreams imagined the woman I'd be spending eternity with would be as amazing as you are. We have both traveled very different paths to get here, but in birth, both have endured so much to find our way home. I say home because that's what you are to me. You are my peace at the end of a long day. You are everything that is right about a world full of wrong. It seems like yesterday we were laughing and giggling on our first date as we both did our best not to embarrass ourselves. Of course, I would be the one to accomplish that by falling asleep during our movie. I thought for sure you were gone. I thought no way would you want to do uh, a repeat of that. But you aren't like most women, Olivia. You stayed. You gave this man who felt like love was only in the movies restored hope. You have been everything I ever dreamed of and more. You gave me a son who I love with all my heart. And I promise to always be there for him and do right by him. I never even thought that this would be possible. My life's been full of hardships and obstacles and a lot of rough patches. What we have, Corey, feels like something from every love story that plays during the holiday seasons on those sappy channels that I try to stay away from. <laughs> I love you so much. I waited for the bottom to drop so many times the first seven months of our relationship. Life was hitting us hard at all angles and I felt like maybe what we had was too good to be true. Mm -hmm. But you stayed faithful to God, and you stood beside me, even when I tried to push you away several times. You pulled me close with your patience, your love, consistency, your prayers, and then there's just something about the way that you look at me. I could get lost in your eyes, and I've never known a love like the love that you have for me. Corey, I vow to stand beside you through our good times, and especially through our challenging ones. I vow to take every challenge we face as us versus the issue and not lose sight that we are one. And believing that God has led you to this place as an officer in the of the laws in the state of Texas and minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ in the presence of your family, these friends, and our Heavenly Father, I take great pleasure in pronouncing you as husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. to being a part of your guys' lives for the rest of those lives and being able to be a part of this friendship and this love as you guys continue to grow together. 
and to be able to stand by your guys' side and testify of the love between you two. I am so thankful that I actually get to be a part of all of this. And you guys mean the world to me, and I love you with all my heart. that I will always love you and I will always support you and I know your last name may be Newsom but starting today and forever you will always be classified in the Berry family and I'm honored to be able to welcome you to our family I love you both so much My proudest moments and biggest accomplishments in life include being your father, or include being a father in general, and being a papa. Thank you for your part in that. I have no doubt you will be as great a wife as you are at being a daughter and a mom. Your mom and I are so proud of you. We love you, sugar. Cheers. <laughs>